All right guys, so hopefully this looks okay. I'm gonna be doing something that I've never done before, which is putting in colored contacts. And I'm just super nervous about them. So these are from Bombshell Cosmetica. And I actually have a discount code with them and I'm gonna be trying out their lashes in this video. So we'll see how it goes. But these are in Pony Gray and they're fresh tone cosmetic lenses. So I don't know, I'm super nervous. I hope they don't like mess up my eyesight or anything. Hopefully they don't make this video take like 50,000 years because I can't see myself or something, so. Girl, you don't even know. I'm used to contacts, but not ones that obstruct my vision, ones that, you know, help my vision. Well, one thing's for sure, they seal these puppies up really good. I painted my nails with the Koki nail polish I got in my Ipsy bag today, and I didn't put a clear coat on it, but I really like the formula and how like, opaque it is because I hate doing two layers. Oh my gosh, I, you know what? <laughs> I might not even be able to get these open. I don't want the stuff to go in my mouth. Oh, okay, I think I opened it from the wrong side. <laughs> it will not open. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back. Okay, after spilling the liquid all over me, getting it in my mouth and almost breaking two of my nails, I've opened the contact lenses. And now we're gonna put them in my eyeballs. I want you guys to like see what it looks like. Ooh, they're really soft. Okay, that's really weird. I mean, I can kind of see them. They're so soft, they're like thick, kind of. I can feel them. And I look freaking scary. Okay, that's definitely something you have to get used to. It's making my eyes super sensitive to the light. Like, it's hard to look forward. All right, I'm gonna just keep going. Oh God, I don't know if I can. Ugh. Okay, so one thing I've been really obsessed with lately for priming is the NYX Hydra Touch. Like not, well, kind of a lot, but not too much. And then I take my Frisali Rose Gold Elixir, shake it up a bit, and then I put a couple drops on my face. And it just really moisturizes my face and I feel like it makes every foundation that I put on looks super dewy. Okay, I think it, my eyes are getting a little bit better. If I go blind, at least I have it all on camera and we're gonna know what happened to me. So I want this video to just be like a chatty, get ready with me, talk about what I did the last week. I actually went to go see my sister in Alabama and my mom in Florida and it was super fun. Um, and I was supposed to pre-record, that way I'd have stuff to put up while I was gone, but I literally snapped my memory card in half and didn't have another one and it was like right before I was about to leave and I didn't have a chance to go get one so that's what happened there. Um, so this video I'm actually going to be trying out a lot of new stuff. I'm going to try out stuff I got in my BoxyCharm and stuff I got in my Ipsy and other stuff that I got. Like these are some Eco Tools sponges. No, not Eco Tools. Equate, which is like a cheap version that you can get at Walmart or Target. So I don't think I'm going to like this one to be honest because it's ginormous and it just feels kind of cheap, but the little ones that it comes with feel really nice, so. So yeah, I was gone, and I got a lot of new stuff. Um, I got this new foundation at Ulta, the Better Skin from Maybelline, and I actually think I really like it. It's kind of matte, which is not what I usually go for, but I think it has a really nice, like, naturally finish. I don't even know, it just feels, like, so weird being in front of the camera after two weeks, basically. Like, feels like I haven't sat down in, like, a year or something. It just feels so weird. Um... I'm so excited to be doing it again. I, I love the whole process of filming and sitting down and taking my time, doing my makeup, planning stuff out, doing creative things, so I really missed it. And also, I really love editing. I don't know why, like, because it's so tedious, but I really love editing, so I can't wait to edit this video. Gosh, I hate these contacts. So I got mine in the lightest shade. It's in the shade, oh yeah, it's in 10 Porcelain. It's basically my perfect shade. This is kind of a matte foundation, which is not something that I normally go for, but I don't know, I really like how like skin-like it looks. Yeah, I don't really like this sponge. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it's a really, really good price. So if you're looking for sponges on a budget, it's really good. So I think this is what I'm gonna do from now on for my BoxyCharm and Ipsy basically just do like a chatty video where I use the products that I get the, that month but not like dedicate like a whole video to it where I'm like this is what you get and that's what you get because I don't know. I find those kind of boring. Now I'm going to contour. Ooh, it's so hot that like all of my products are like melting so this is all melting on the top. I did try the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick and like the first two times I used it I really really liked it but then I just felt like it stopped blending out really nicely all of a sudden, I don't know why. And also it looked super orange and it just didn't look right. So I'm back to using 
this Anastasia contour stick. So yeah, like I said, I visited my sister in Alabama. It was my first time there. Um, and it's freaking hot. And what's sad is it's not even as hot as it's gonna get there. And I felt like I was literally melting. So I don't know how she's going to survive it. And just from like being up north, I'm just not used to like humidity like that. And it's just, it's all day. All night it's just always hot but I spent so much time in the car this week because it's about a six and a half hour drive to my sister's so I flew down to see my mom on Friday we left like at, at 6 a.m. Saturday morning go to Alabama and then we obviously had to drive back and like driving to the airport is like an hour and a half so I just spent a lot of time in the car and it feels good to be home and see my dog I missed her so much it was so cute when I came home she was like crying so happy to see me I think I put too much on oops so right now when I'm filming this I think today is the 17th so in four days the Jaclyn Hill times Morphe palette comes out seriously so excited but I just feel like I know she says that they made a lot so that way everyone could get one but I feel like they're gonna sell out so fast and I just don't want to be disappointed so I don't even know if I'm gonna try to buy it or not. I feel like the website is gonna crash and I think they're gonna sell out just like within the first day for sure. Like no matter how many you make, she has 4 million followers. You just have to anticipate like a lot of those followers are gonna want the palette. I really do want to get it and I feel like it has a lot of unique colors in it, like ones that I don't have, especially those like the bottom um, left section with the blues. Really unique and I really really love, I think the one called Jada and Pool Party, those are so pretty. I really really want those but I don't know, I'm not, I don't want to set myself up for disappointment and try to get it. Now I'm going to use the bronzer in this palette which is what I always use now. I kind of want to recreate the look that Jeffrey did with the Kylie palette that just came out. Like she had a whole new collection come out and I think it's really nice, but I'm just never gonna buy any of her products because I've heard too many horror stories and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with paying for something and then not getting it for weeks and weeks or just not getting it period. So I don't think I'm ever gonna purchase Kylie Cosmetics, but it is really pretty. And the blue shade he used on his bottom lash line is actually a shade that I got in my Ipsy bag. So I'm gonna try to kind of recreate that look. In the highlights, I've been using non-stop glow kit ones. I got this right after I filmed my March favorites, like the day after. And I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be my next favorites because... <gasps> no, I'm not using this actually. I'm supposed to be using my stuff that I just got. Alright, so I guess... Oh, fuck. What else did I get in here? Alright, well, I forgot to use this. Maybe I'll try it on my lips. No, because I already have a lip product. And I forgot to use this. I suck. Alright, but I am gonna use this. Boxy Charm, I got the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and this is in the shade Illuminati, and I hope it's not too dark for me. I'm gonna use this brush, the Luxie Pro Precision Tapered Brush, for a highlight. Um, I usually use my Anastasia, what is this called? It's A23. This is the best highlighting brush. I highly recommend it. But I'm gonna try this one out because I don't really know what else this would be for. Tap into it. And I don't really like it, to be honest. Am I supposed to wet my skin first? I feel like it just looks super powdery and glittery on my skin. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, I'm not going to keep going with it. I don't really like it at all. So I'm going to go over it with some of my glow kit because, I don't know, like it's a pretty soft glow. But if I really want like the intense glow that I usually like, it's going to show up as like a gold streak on my face, I think. So I'm going to mix these two together, which is my favorite combo. And if I feel like the highlight is a little bit too dark for me, I go in with Forever Lit just to lighten it up a little bit. I like a really, really intense highlight, especially for on camera and like in pictures. So I can't help but use Forever Lit a lot, even though it's super light. It's... Can you see it moving? Oh, this is the freakiest thing. Like I literally can't feel it. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I did my eyebrows, and if they're not even, I'm sorry, but it's because I can't see them. Like, look what happens every time I, like, this thing moves. And it really freaking, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm going nuts. I'm going crazy. In my boxy charm, I got the Real Her Shadow Palette, and my quote is, do your squats. This is in 
the palette number two so it's got more like purpley browns in it i'm going to just dust the shade driven which is this one all over my lids i'm not going to do anything too fancy on my lids because i want the focus to be the bottom lid or the bottom lash line whatever i don't even know what i'm saying i feel like i feel like I'm just so weird right now okay so i'm gonna put a little bit of I'm gonna put some awesome in the crease. The only one kind of like light enough to be a to be a crease color. <laughs> um, it is a pretty color, but I feel like it kind of stuck down where I set my brush, and then like was kind of difficult to blend out after that. So we'll see how it goes. I guess I really like this shade actually. It's a little bit dark for a crease color, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Invincible. This one, I think. No, that's unshakable. Invincible with a more precise brush. Go a little bit below that just to define the crease. All right, so I do like that. So I'm gonna take a more dense brush and put Limitless on my lid. That's really powdery, so. It's pretty, but it's not like super intense, which I actually like for this look. I just don't understand why this one's perfect and this one's so uncomfortable. I'm going to take this like flat brush and I'm going to take this City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow. This is in the shade Beach Cottage and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. When I swatched this on my hand, it was super pigmented. Smudge this on my lower lash line and see if I need to use like a setting spray or anything. Ooh, I didn't think about if it would clash with these contacts or not. I just think this is such a cool way to do a pop of color. It's a trend going on. And honestly, I'm going to have to go on their website and list what they are called, the ones that I end up using down below, because the one downside is that there's no names on the packaging. They all just say bombshell, and they all say the same thing on the back, so, I mean, that's fine, but it's hard for me to tell you guys which ones I use, so I am going to have to look that up. I think I'm going to use these. The new lash glue that I got is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in the shade Clear. It's formaldehyde-free, latex-free, and it has aloe in it, apparently. Um, I really wish that all of the duo lash glues came with an applicator like this, because I feel like that just makes it so much easier. So I'll see if I actually like the glue itself. It's just so easy to control how much glue you put on it with this little applicator. I feel like the thin deposit of glue that this puts on your lash makes it stick faster because you're not like gooping up with glue. These are gorgeous. I'm obsessed actually. These are actually going on super easy. All right, so those are gorgeous. I cannot see, <laughs> so hopefully they're okay. And then for my lips, I'm so excited to try this. It's the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. And I've never tried this before, but I've heard the formula is amazing. So I'm so excited. This is in the shade, I think it's called Tuscany, but it doesn't say on the bottle, so. We're going to go with Tuscany and I'll list it down below. Very creamy. So this formula actually feels pretty similar to the Huda Beauty one in my opinion. But it's so lightweight, really opaque, goes on so easily. So I hope my lashes are sticking. If I could see them, I would know. But um, overall, I like literally everything I used except for the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. I did not like this. Too dark for my skin tone. I'll probably give this away to someone because it's not like I stuck my fingers in it. I could probably put this in a giveaway. It's clean, sanitary. And honestly, I, I don't like the contacts. I feel like they're just so uncomfortable and I just literally can't see. Um, I think I would put them on for makeup looks. Like if I were to take a picture... I would put them on, I guess, since I have them, but I mean, I easily think I could make my eyes look this color with Facetune. Um, I've never tried it before. Usually I just lighten my eye color so that way they're just brighter. I don't change my eye color, but I'm sure I, I could do that. So I honestly don't know if I would ever get colored contacts again, but I really like this look and I like this trend. I really, really like the City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow. I kind of wonder what the price point is. I'm going to have to look it up. I think it has really great pigmentation and it looks honestly more pigmented than that Kylie cosmetic shadow. So I think this could be like a good dupe for that um, if you're looking for this kind of look. And I also really, really like these lashes. I'm sure next time I'll do a better application when I can see my eyes, but like I said, I'll list this pair down below. Make sure to use my code. This is Bombshell Cosmetica. They told me that all of them are cruelty-free. Some of them are called mink, but they said they're called mink because of the style, like they're styled after how mink lashes would look. 
If that is incorrect, um, then that would be really shitty that they told me that. But just to be safe, I didn't buy any of those, the ones that said they were mink, just in case. And I can tell that this formula would feel really comfortable all day long. So I'm really impressed with that, and I can see what the hype is for sure. Yeah, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. If I am, I will leave it in the description bar down below. Sorry if this video is kind of awkward. It's kind of weird getting back into the swing of things after not recording for so long. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really missed you and I can't wait to get back to filming again. See you in my next video. Bye.